NEA All Pro Second Team, Pro Football Weekly All NFC. Wow. And one of his biggest legacies is how he honored his son, who held on strong during an 18 month battle with cancer. Bless your soul, Andrew, as you're always an inspiration. He provides hope and helps families who are fighting childhood cancer through his foundation. His light blankets the dark. They're about to scream his name from Lincoln Park to Denmark. On the field, he was more ferocious than a great white shark. So put your hands together for a gem of a human being and legend. Last name Rippy and first name Mark. Mark, welcome, my friend. Rippin, play action pass on first down. Deep left side, Terry. You called it. Here's Gary Clark. No flags down. Touchdown. Third down 10. Rippin, 16 for 28. 245 yards. Back he goes. Good protection again. Going deep. He's got Clark in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. 30-yard touchdown pass. Rippin has struck gold. Too many weapons. Backbreaker right there because the pressure was back on the Redskins. And they risk. Holy smokes, Abby. Where did you get that information from? That's amazing. Uh Mark, if you could title. And again, you could have all the time in the world that you like. When you're done, let me know. I'll come in. Mark, if you could title the three chapters of your life, childhood, young adulthood, and middle adulthood, how would you title them each and why, my friend? You'll have as much time to explain as you'd like. Mark, are you ready to go, my friend? Yes, I am. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, this is definitely thought-provoking. And three chapters basically is kind of does a disservice to all of us, maybe as far as a, a book is concerned. But I'll try to uh, put it in, in my perspective of what I see. And uh, my, my, my perspective is that, I look at the three chapters in my life, and, and I'm going to uh, break them down to chapter one being the chapter of rejoice, uh, chapter two, resilience, and chapter three, reflection. So with chapter one being rejoice, and, and then I also look at my life, and I cut it into three stages. You cut it into childhood, adulthood, and uh, uh, young adulthood into to adulthood. Uh, I'm going to look at it like the three trimesters of life, these uh, three chapters that I just mentioned. Um and I look at my life as being, I'm 61 now. So I'm kind of in the, the last chapter, the, the third chapter of my life, the last trimester of my life and, and look at the things. But when I look back to chapter one and talk about rejoice and being, uh, you know, being born and like you said, uh, Avi in, in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, moving down with my family and uh, not knowing what the next uh, thing was, but, but excited, excited to be with them, excited to see the next stage of, of my life and where it was going, and which direction it was. Everyone thinks I was, going to be a hockey player but we came from a lower middle class family didn't have the funds to to um uh, to play hockey so my dad put a baseball mitt in my hand as you know brian played baseball his whole life as i did mine it just only thing in my life in baseball is i couldn't hit or throw a curveball so my days were numbered when it came to baseball uh we played baseball played basketball played but did all the things you know the excitement of being a kid you know and and, and growing up and and all those things uh was was, was pretty surreal uh, play like basketball against John Stockton, you know, my days are numbered there and football is a sport I, I, I like the least, but I uh, enjoyed being part of a team, part of teamwork and part of this team right here that we have, uh, that you have going, Avi, is, is, is pretty, pretty surreal and, and the number of people that have, have, have reached out. I feel like I've known, just be from your intros, that I know uh, Brian and, and David uh, uh, much more than, than I ever would have. So that in itself is, is pretty cool. But that young adulthood and or young uh, childhood of mine was first 30 years. You know, I had two children. Um, went to two, was played in two Super Bowls, was fortunate enough to uh, be on the Super Bowl winning team with Doug Williams as the MVP of, of Super Bowl uh, 22. And then fortunate enough to be uh, uh, on that uh, Super Bowl 26 team. My two children were at that game and had a lovely, lovely wife. So that first part of that is just all the excitement, the to rejoice in, in, in all the uh, things that were, you know, were, were good in your life. And then the second phase that I talk about and, and the second chapter that I talk about in the book would be resilience. You know, we all, all have challenges in our life.